You got your hands full. Yes, sir. Hey, Ken. Hey. <laughs> yeah, what's on the card she's got to haul them three young ones. I seen you. I was coming over here purposely to get you. Don't you get I was that way morning. I was way far off. You can run, but Don't you can't run. hide. Don't hide. Don't hide. Yeah. How you been? Good uh, hanging in there. All right, good deal. How much of this iron you need today? When I get finished filming, I'm gonna take a look. All right. I haven't yeah, even looked. Do I'm doing this for the people. Well, you better hurry up. I know, right? Hey guys, Southern Comfort here, We're out here in Rocky Point, North Carolina. We're at the Fall Homestead Conference, and so I want to invite y'all to come out. We have it in the fall and into the spring. It's put out by Out of Square Homestead and Not Forget Forgotten Primitive Antiques. It starts Saturday, October the 12th from 8 to 4, Sunday, October 13th from 9 to 3. And so its location is 1535 North Carolina Highway 133, Rocky Point, North Carolina. So there's going to be live music. So please join us with lots of fun and lots of crafts and lots of primitive tools and all kinds of stuff, uh, uh, teaching skills. So some of the things they're going to be having, having is primitive antiques, vintage tools, farmhouse decor, homemade soaps, homemade items small farm animals, and much, much more. I come out here and I really do enjoy it. We have tons of people that come out here. And so there's also gonna be classes. That's good. They're free classes. And those classes are gonna be consistent of a chicken processing, quail processing, chicken 101, predator control, trapping, skinning, tanning, medical and kitchen, kitchen herbs, animals first aid, knife and tool sharpening, cast iron cooking, cast iron reclaiming, and homestead sales and marketing. So guys, we're going to take a look at what's going on here at the Homestead Conference, the Fall Homestead Conference. So come along with me and let's take a look. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing great. So what do you think about the Homestead Conference? I think it's a good thing. So tell us a little bit about it. If you know anything about it, tell not, us. Not a whole lot. I've been, I come by here last year. Uh-huh. And my niece is set up, or my cousin is set up here. Right. And so I've come back again to see how things are going today. And yeah. And to me, it's uh, all set up, and it have got a perfect day for it. Yes, absolutely. It's going to yeah. be a beautiful day. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, you take care. All right, I'll you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, guys, this is Joy. And uh, she's with Out of Square Homestead. We put on this event April and October every year. Um, it's all for homesteaders and people networking, and we just get together to everybody can network together. So, what about the vendors? You usually have vendors, and yeah, we, uh, I'm not sure how many we have this year, but we do have a lot of vendors. We have vendors with anything homemade, homesteading related, everything from canned goods to animals. All right, well, thank you. We're going to take a walk through, guys, and let's see what's going on. Now she's like year round. Summer, winter. She got plenty of hair. She'll make more. She's a good girl, though. I'm just lucky to get her. She's beautiful. So, how are y'all doing? Good. What was the name of your. We're Barnberg. Barnboard, I did get a, a yep. picture of that. Barnboard Woodworks and Antiques. You guys, let's walk in here shortly and see what they got going on. Yeah, okay. uh.
collection and like how left to see that look like they didn't start with that. I'll check them again. I think they want no reason, but it got rain. He didn't like that. So what you doing there? Stop that. Sharpening a knife. So tell us a little bit about that, because I remember talking to you uh, about a year ago. Yeah. I think. I I sharpen stuff. I, I sharpen stuff. So tell us about like you know a dull knife, a sharp knife. What's the difference? <sighs> There's different kinds of sharpnesses. Um, imagine a, a cleaver in your kitchen. Okay. Or an axe. Okay. They can be sharp. But the angle of the edge is more, it's a bigger angle. Okay. Then you think of a razor blade. Right. The other extreme. Right. It's like super, super, super fine. Right. So an edge is where two planes meet. Right. And the less, the more even the meeting is, the sharper it is. Uh, and that doesn't matter what angle your edge is at. Okay. Uh, getting a consistent edge angle on both sides uh -huh. and a nice polished finished edge mm -hmm. that's what makes sharpness. Wow thank you for that information. No problem. Bring them. I'll bring my knives. So tell us a little bit about your dogs. They are 100% Great Pyrenees. Okay. She guards my goats and my chickens and my guineas. Okay. And the dad of the puppies does my pigs and our house and in between the two pastures. Okay. She is really great. She actually has killed two raccoons. Wow. In the past awesome. year. I mean, that's and awesome when you got predators. Yeah. They're very destructive. So, and she keeps the coyotes away. You can see the, the goat pen. You can see where they walk. Yeah. And she patrols it. You can see her path around it. Right. She's really great for guarding. So, how much animals. is the puppy? $300. That's, that's a good deal. All right. Well, thank you very much. Oh, how can they, how can they reach you? My name is Karen Wood, and my phone number is 910-578-4922. I have five males and one female. All right. Thank you.
Hey, Rob, you need to turn around and face the camera. Oh, oh, let me get out of the way. No, you're fine. You're supposed to wait. <laughs> This year, come on down to Earl and Robbins and have a blast of day in the morning. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> the place to be when you want to be someplace. <laughs> Hey Frankie. Hey, what's up girl? Oh, not much. Well, you got a gadget this year, don't you? Well, this fall. Yep. It looks good. I like that stove. Me too. I, I've been trying to find me another couple of them. Like I really need. So what you cooking today? I know you're cooking something. Biscuits, hot roast. Hey, that's oh, good. That's some good eating good right stuff. there. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> that fire feels good this morning. Yes, oh, it does. The fire feels good all the time. Oh, yeah. A bunch of people over here just to check out the fire. I know. It smells good. Gosh. What you got going on there? Bacon. Smells like ham. Mm, smells hot, good. Hot dogs. I got to put some hot dogs on too. Uh -oh. Red hot. Red Big hot. difference. <laughs> right, Cammy? Right. <laughs> right. Lord have mercy. Now what you got going? What is that? Uh oh. Red hot. That's the biscuits. way to go. When you get a chance, go get me one. I can't reach over the damn thing. Look, she's pointing it at me. Quit! <laughs> I'm gonna I go can't here with, with you. I'm gonna So it's run. It, it's made everybody really sensitive. So, you know, I started thinking about it. Remember anyone, but then you start thinking about it. You got ran over. Yeah, you got to go. Yeah. Wheat that's being. She does a lot of. So they're made in charge of this one. And I love your little one. We've been about 20 or 30 cases. So fire. And we charge the bad at it. You work. Season truth, you know, you're going to run. That's what happened to the militia a lot of times. I was just in By the time they got in the south and changed the tactics, even some of the militia units held the reins. But we beat them at their own game with their own tactics. We wasn't behind trees and that kind of and stuff. And I used like these. Like that. Yep. Very dependable. <laughs> That's amazing. What you got going on here? So we got USDA farm raised uh, pork. It's all, right. all uh, grown on pasture, and uh, there's a mix of different feeds that we give them. We give them some sweet potatoes and all natural stuff, and mostly pasture raised. And they're uh, Yorkshire, they're rock mixed. Okay. Pigs, and uh, we get them USDA processed. 
So and feeding them organically makes the meat taste better. It does, absolutely. Yeah. And then the pasture raised where they can forage and find, uh, you know, grubs and just things underground, roots. And yeah. It just makes the meat taste it makes ten them... times better. Yeah. It's fresh. So, so how can people reach you? Um, so we have a website. It's, if you look up Castaway Farms. Okay. Um, we're on Facebook. And we also have a square website for purchasing of uh, the pork. And okay. we do anywhere between five to seven pigs a year. Okay. And there's different packages that you can do. Um, we have like whole hogs, we have half hogs, we have like uh, a smoker package, and then there's small like holiday packages. And then you can also buy it individually. Okay. Would you mind standing in the sun just a minute? Because I think I might have got the tent. I'm not really sure. Absolutely. And that way people can see because the camera. So uh, lighting well, down. You've been all anything. famous. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, so we do a little bit of all the pasture, different pasture raised pork. Okay, and so if the lighting didn't come out good, tell us again what you just told us basically. So we have pasture raised pork, uh, they're Durock Yorkshire mix. Mm -hmm. um, and they're they're feed, they're mixed with a, we feed them feed and we also feed them like uh, organic sweet potatoes and potatoes and just all natural stuff. Um, we try to stay away from his feet as much as possible that's yeah. processed because it just makes the meat taste better. Yeah. Um, and we usually process them at about 280 pounds because we feel like that's like the best yeah. weight ratio for yeah. just the good tasting juicy pork that right. everyone wants. Right. Um, so feeding them a, a different way than say uh, a factory, I don't know what they call them, but here they we... Just, they basically at the factory, they're just... Filling them with grain. You fill them with grain. Grain, soy. corn, soy, and that's it. Yeah. And you know they're in closed quarters. They're in a pen. Yeah. So they don't get to roam around. They don't get to go and grub through the roots and stuff and dig and find their own food. So doesn't that put in a, a lot of fat on them and not meat? It does. There's a lot more fat on them, but but our you know ours actually have a really good source of fat. If yeah. you were to look at if you were to look at our pork and compare it to like a store bought pork, yeah. which it's got really good fat content. Yeah. It's it's also a lot. Um, it just looks healthier. It looks healthier and it's it tastes better. It's darker and it tastes better. Yeah. And it's and you can make some good lard. Oh yeah. You, oh, we actually <laughs> sell lard. We have uh we have them in one pound buckets of lard okay. fat. So uh, if you if you get enough pigs to process, you can get the poor. Uh, you can get the lard. Okay. So if, yeah. if you do, uh, I think it's what a hundred pounds. You have to get 100 pounds of lard in order for it to be processed in the light containers. Okay. Um, so that's typically around six to seven pigs minimum okay. for that to happen. And okay. a lot of farmers, they, a lot of small farms, they actually don't process that many pigs. Right. They'll keep it under five. Right. Um, so tell us again, um, in case the lighting didn't come out good, how can they reach you? Uh, so they can reach us if you search Cast Away Farm. So it's cast-a-away. And we're on Facebook. And if you go to our Facebook page, there's a link that has our Square website where you can purchase the pig or purchase pork. There's different packages. You can do like a holiday package. You can do a whole hog. You can do a half a hog. And you can even do individual pieces that you can add, like bacon if you like bacon or you like pork chops or you like roasts. We have a little bit of everything. Okay, so what is your location area? Uh, we're located in Newport, North okay. Carolina. So All about right. an hour and a half from here, but yeah, it's okay. It's local pickup, and yeah. if you want to um, come check out the farm, you can do that as well. Absolutely. And we can just show you around so you know exactly how the pigs are taken care of and yeah, how we take care of all our animals. That's very important. Very important. So, because people you know, do all kinds of things. Well, thank you very much. Absolutely. And I think we went after the guinea pig, killed the guinea pig, and the goat had gotten away, and then she got me.
tell him about doing just a little bit more. That's okay. Yeah, he, huh? he said it was for that. Are you sure he's going to come back? So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget these conferences are taking place, these homestead conferences are taking place in spring into the fall. So now we're into the fall and we'll be here today and Sunday. So be sure to come on out. If you want to be a vendor here at the Homestead Conference in the future, get up with Outer Squares Homestead. See you on to the next video.